Are you looking to take a vacation soon? Are you tired of the mundane routine you endure each week? You must be eager to visit museums, sample delicious food, visit parks, and enjoy fun activities. You've got to head on over to Charlotte, North Carolina. It's a great city that attracts tourists, business travelers, digital nomads, and settlers. Let's look at some of the best things to do in Charlotte, North Carolina. Number 1. Head to the 7th Street Public Market once you reach Charlotte, you might be a bit hungry. If so, you should pay a visit to the 7th Street Public Market, located about half a mile from the city center. Here, you can pick up sweets, savory snacks, and local produce. You can also sample delicious wines or grab a cup of coffee. You can also enjoy street food, including some of the best mouth-watering pizzas in the country. You should probably visit the 7th Street Public Market a few times during your trip to Charlotte. It's especially a great place to grab breakfast. Here, you'll also come across many locals and tourists alike. Before we tell you more about the best things to do in Charlotte, please give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Number 2. Visit the Levine Museum of the New South when you visit the South, you've got to learn about the history of this fascinating region. It's got both a beautiful and a dark history. It's got delicious food, incredible nature, and hospitable people. A great way to get an introduction to the South is to visit the Levine Museum of the New South. It focuses on the South's history since 1865, following the end of the Civil War. There are great permanent exhibits, such as the Cotton Fields to Skyscrapers, which revolves around the history of Charlotte and its evolution. You can also visit the Good Samaritan Hospital, which was one of the South's first hospitals for African Americans. There are also many great temporary exhibitions where you'll learn more about how the South has changed since the Civil War. You'll also learn about Charlotte's fascinating history and how it became one of the South's most popular cities. If you love America, you can't miss out on the Levine Museum of the New South. Number 3. Visit the Mint Museum Uptown Within a few hours of arriving in Charlotte, you'll notice it's a great city for culture. You should visit the Mint Museum in Uptown. It's got a great collection of European and American art. There are also many contemporary exhibits that showcase textiles and fashion. You can also enjoy the craft and design collection, where you'll see glass art, clay art, wood art, and furniture. It's a large museum, so set aside a couple of hours to see everything. You can explore the museum on your own or take a guided tour to learn more about the art and Charlotte's cultural scene. Number 4. Go to the Discovery Place If you're a science geek, then you have to visit the Discovery Place. If you're traveling with young children, we insist you visit this wholesome, hands-on facility. The Discovery Place is a kid-friendly science museum that has several interactive exhibits. With these exhibits, you'll get to learn about a variety of scientific concepts from different disciplines. You'll get to conduct simple lab experiments, build ecosystems, and take a look at the aquarium. There's even a section for toddlers to play and learn about science. But even if you aren't traveling with children, there are dedicated activities for adults. There's even an after-hours bar. This is one of the most fun museums Charlotte has to offer. It's a great testament to the dynamism that makes Charlotte a great place to visit, live, work, and play. It's a huge museum, so you might want to reserve half a day so you can see as much as possible. It's close to the city center and open seven days a week. Number 5. Visit Freedom Park of course, you can't come to the Carolinas and not enjoy the incredible nature. We recommend visiting Charlotte's Freedom Park. This gigantic park spans almost 100 acres and is a great way to escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. It's the perfect place to recharge before you go out and explore some more. It's known as Charlotte's answer to New York City's Central Park and is a great place for walking, jogging, running, or biking. If you're looking to get some exercise during your trip to Charlotte, this is the place to be. There are also tennis courts, baseball fields, and a basketball court. It's also good for relaxing and having a picnic with your friends. It's also a great meeting point and one that's frequented by both locals and tourists. You'll also marvel at the picturesque nature, so if you love clicking photos, you'll be glad you came. While there aren't any food or beverage stalls within the park, there are plenty of restaurants, pubs, and cafes nearby. We recommend you visit Freedom Park more than once during your trip. Number 6. Visit the U.S. National Whitewater Center if you didn't get enough activity at Freedom Park, you have to visit the U.S. National Whitewater Center. It's a 1,300-acre facility where you can enjoy a variety of land and water activities. You can, of course, go whitewater rafting as well as kayaking and paddleboarding. If you've never been whitewater rafting before, you can embark on a whitewater rafting tour, which is hugely popular among travelers. The land activities include rock climbing, zip lining, and mountain biking. There are even obstacle courses if you're looking to compete with your fellow travelers. If you're a runner, there are many challenges running trails to enjoy. It's a great place to spend an entire day. Number 7. Enjoy more nature at the Little Sugar Creek Greenway 
Little Sugar Creek Greenway is another place where you'll find walking trails, parks, and streams. It's not as overwhelming as the vastness of Freedom Park and is great for casual exercises or for relaxing on a park bench. It starts at Cordelia Park and goes north of Uptown. If you love being outdoors, this is another place to visit while in Charlotte. It's a place where locals go to take a break from their busy day and is a great place for relaxing over the weekend. If you're traveling with young children, this is a great place to spend quality time with them. If you're traveling with infants, the path ways at Little Sugar Creek Greenway are stroller friendly. Number 8. The NASCAR Hall of Fame If you're a fan of NASCAR, you don't want to miss out on visiting the NASCAR Hall of Fame in Charlotte. And as any NASCAR fan knows, many of the greatest drivers came from this city. It's adjacent to the Charlotte Convention Center and houses a museum dedicated to the sport that commemorates some of its greatest drivers. But there's much more to see than the museum itself. It's got a great entertainment venue and several interactive activities. Number 9. The Billy Graham Library whether you're familiar with the Reverend Billy Graham or not, this library is worth your time. The Graham family home showcases his life and his work in spreading the gospel. There's also a beautiful memorial prayer garden, and the entire premises has a reputation for having a calming effect on visitors. The Reverend Graham was one of the most influential American evangelists of the 20th century, and this library is well worth a visit. Number 10. Watch a game at the BB&T Ballpark if you visit during baseball season, you can't miss out on watching a game at the BB&T Ballpark. This is the home field of the Charlotte Knights and is a place that gets packed with locals and tourists, so you may need to book your tickets in advance. Aside from watching a great game, you'll love the delicious food available at the stadium. There isn't a bad seat in the house, and the entertainment is world class. Watching a game at the BB&T Ballpark shows the best of this city and the enthusiasm felt by locals and tourists alike. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you excited to visit the city's various museums and cultural centers? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.